like the thing with Dark Souls 3 that kind of set the expe exp expectations for the activity level at least higher for Elden Ring was that Dark Souls 3 always had a a viable amount of activity and I attribute Elden Ring not reaching that because of the lack of solo invasions but um yeah the, uh, Dark Souls 3 always had a fair bit of activity throughout the years like especially like the first year of release which Elden Ring is in right now it had like so much activity everywhere like this is and I was I remember I was playing on Xbox uh and you know Xbox is the least active or has always been like the least active for Souls games out of all the platforms. So back then I was playing on the Xbox and it was always active everywhere. So just, that gives you an idea really. Okay, let's see, let's see what you got. Maybe I should have kept like one straight sword with the default uh, Ash of War. This madness is going to be quite a pain to deal with. Let's try fishing, why not? Let's, tr let's try to fish this guy. Hmm. Not a bad, not a good idea, I mean, sorry. God damn it, this is so cheesy and annoying. I'm getting ready to parry. That madness is building up. Okay, let's change strat. It's not working out. Oh! Oh! Little, uh, you know, little air support. Thank you. I appreciate that. Jesus, dude. I swear to God, like, low-key, they... I swear there's, like, something in the AI that makes the mobs, like, attack invaders, like... Like, 5% of the time, like, on purpose. Like, they have, like, a fucking hidden mechanic inside all of these mobs that makes it so that it attacks invaders, like, 5% of the time. Like, just at random. It's, like, low-key targets them. <laughs> and they never told anyone about that. Ah! 